to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different because I'm going to be showing you my handbag collection. Specifically today I'm going to be showing you guys my Rebecca Minkoff handbag collection. I have a variety of different colors and styles so I thought I might show you all of them in a video. The holidays are coming up and as well as Black Friday so if you guys are thinking um, of buying it for someone or putting it on your Christmas list. This video would be quite a good one to watch. So I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on these handbags um, and doing little mini reviews. So if you guys want to see what handbags I have in my Rebecca Minkoff collection, then keep on watching. I'm going to start off this video with my latest purchase, and this is one of the most classic Rebecca Minkoff styles. Um, this is the Rebecca Minkoff um, Mini Mac. This one is the quilted design, um, and I have this in a really nice dark maroony kind of almost purpley kind of shade. What I really like about Rebecca Minkoff is that they have really, really good um, quality materials in their handbags. You can really tell just by touching them. I find that I really like all of her um, mini styles of her handbags. I just think they are the perfect size for me. Um, I really like this one especially because it has a really, really nice chain. It has the classic Rebecca Minkoff little clasp here in the front um, that you actually can open. And you get a little zipper underneath here. And then you get one really, really big pocket over here. And it just has a little card holder pocket in there with no zipper on the inside. This is probably one of Rebecca Minkoff's first designs. Um, I really like how classic and simple it is, but I really like the touch of the quilted design on this one. I like the hardware on it. I really think that silver and burgundy look really, really pretty together. I also really like the super long chain and it has a little leather bit on the middle so your shoulder doesn't hurt. Overall for this bag, I think um, the price is really good for the quality of bag you get. The materials are really soft and you can tell that they're going to be very durable. This has been one of my go-to bags lately. I already have my little pom-pom here. It's from H&M that I've attached to the chain and I just think it is really cute to have on um, a little night out or something. This next purse has been my go-to for the past couple years. This was the very first Rebecca Minkoff bag that I purchased and I believe I got it on Holt Look is the Rebecca Minkoff Hudson Moto Mini and this is a little bit of a different kind of leather than the first one that you saw. This one kind of is a little bit more smoother and it has like this crackly kind of pattern on it. I'm using this for years probably and it still is in such good condition it barely looks like I've used it. So I picked this Hudson Mono Mini in the black shade, really really simple and really basic and I also decided to go for the silver um, hardware. Again, it has the silver clasp in the front, um, and when you open it up, you actually get two little compartments here, as well as a flap in the front. This one is a um, newer design, so that's why it has um, a colorful lining in it. I simply adore this bag. It is so useful, and I really like how um, the sides of it are kind of like an accordion, so you can fill it up really, really full. But when you don't have much in it, you can kind of like squish it down and make it a little bit more thinner. I think it's become a little trend that I have um, these little pom-poms on all of my bags, um, but this one is actually just my wallet that is inside here. This little pom-pom is from Topshop, I believe, and it doesn't actually fit inside one of the compartments here, which is why it is always hanging out, but I still think it is really cute. This is probably one of my favorite styles of um, the Rebecca Minkoff handbags. It is quite structured, but it's still um, not too put together. You can still wear it casually. And the strap for this handbag um, isn't a chain this time. Um, it is just full leather and you can adjust it um, right over here if you need it to be a little bit longer. I really just like how simple and easy um, this handbag is. You can literally wear it with everything because it's black and silver. Um, silver is mainly the color that I'm going for at the moment, which I quite like. Um, and like all Rebecca Minkoff bags, it has her little um, logo on the back, which I think it is really cute. It's very dainty um, and it isn't in your face. So this is probably my most well-worn um, Rebecca Minkoff bag, but as you can see, it doesn't really look like it's aged at all. It still basically is brand new. I love the structure of this, I love the style of it, and I think I'm going to be wearing it for years and years to come. Another really popular Rebecca Minkoff style is her 5-zip bags, and I have one here. I believe this is the regular style. It isn't um, the large, but I don't think it's the mini either. Um, as you can see, in comparison to the mini Mac, it is quite a bit bigger. But I think this is such a gorgeous design. Whenever I look at this design, I automatically think Rebecca Minkoff. So I picked this up in a regular black color, this time with the gold hardware. 
I am so in love with all of these little tassel bits. I am obsessed with them. I think they are so iconic to Rebecca Minkoff. I've been hearing quite a few reviews where a lot of people um, don't like this because they step on them um, or whatever, but they do give you um, extra tassels um, when you purchase from Rebecca Minkoff or any of those sites like Nordstrom or whatever. They do give you extra tassels just in case um, they break, so that's always a good sign. So on the front of this bag you have three different zippers, but only two of them are actually pockets. This bottom one here, um, you can open it, but there is... Um, no pocket for you to put anything inside. But these two upper pockets over here, they are definitely pockets you can put um, like hair ties or whatever you want on the inside of that one. This top one is a lot more deeper than all the other ones. Um, it actually goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. And then you have the one up top here. And on the inside of this you have another zippered compartment which makes five zippers um, as well as a few just little um, pocket ones as well. You have two up here is exactly the same as the first bag I showed you so it has um, a chain but then on the shoulder it has a little leather bit with little studs. I have to admit I haven't been using this bag too much and I think it's because um, the hardware is gold and I'm much more of a silver person. Honestly you can fit so many things in this bag. You can probably even fit a water bottle in here which is so important for me. Even though this bag is quite thin you can still fit quite a bit of things in there. I probably had this bag for maybe even a year and it still smells really really nicely. I know that's kind of weird to say about a bag but you can really tell that this is made out of really good quality materials. And I just think this is such a classic Rebecca Minkoff bag. And for the price, I think it is a very good value. And by the way, I forgot to mention that both the 5-zip as well as the Mini Mac both have studs on the very bottom um, of the bag. They're purely for design. They're not meant to hold up the bag or anything. I just think they look super cute with the design of the bag. Obviously, it would match the um, color of the hardware you get the bag in. So my very last Rebecca Minkoff bag um, is one that you've probably seen if you watched some of my previous videos in the summertime or follow my Instagram. And this is probably one of my favorite Rebecca Minkoff bags of all time. This is the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mab Tote. I love this thing so much. It is totally different than all of the other Rebecca Minkoff bags that I had. But when I saw it, and I saw it in this color, I just thought, I have to have it. It's just so cute. So this is just a little mini structured um, handbag from Rebecca Minkoff. It is in this gorgeous kind of baby blue, almost periwinkle type of blue, and I am so obsessed with it. I actually hold quite a few things in them, which is quite surprising, but I just love the structured style of this. Again, it's totally different than all of the other ones that I've owned. This kind of leather is, again, a little bit different from all of the other ones. This one kind of reminds me of the Michael Kors material, which is just a little bit um, more stiffer and um, has kind of like this hatching detail on it. So this bag, unlike all of the other ones, has two straps on it. So it has um, this blue one that matches with the color of the handbag, as well as these ones up here, which I like holding um, on my shoulder. I really like having two straps um, for handbags. I think it's just super, super helpful. In this design, you do get a little pocket here, but this flap is kind of a bit stiff, um, but it does have a little zippered compartment, so you can put like hair ties or hair pins or whatever you want in there. On the back, you just have um, the Rebecca Minkoff logo here, which is sweet and dainty. And then on the inside, it's basically just one big pocket with a magnet closure, just like that. And the design on the inside is so adorable. They're kind of just like little flowers. I don't know if you can see that there. On the inside of this, you just get a little pocket. Um, it is not zippered, um, but you do actually have quite a bit of room in here before this is probably one of my favorite styles um, from Rebecca Makeoff and I especially love taking it out in the summer because it is just a cute um, little bright fun color for spring. Again like all of my Rebecca Minkoff bags I have to put a little pom-pom. This one is from Topshop and it actually matches this one and I just think it's so adorable. Those are all of the Rebecca Minkoff handbags um, that I have collected over the years. Genuinely love Rebecca Minkoff handbags. That's why I have so many of them. I think the quality in them is great. I think the styles are so unique and very distinct. And I think the variety of styles can match um, quite a few personalities from some more relaxed styles to a little bit more sophisticated. If you are looking for a bag um, to get for the holidays um, or for Black Friday, then I would definitely recommend picking up one of the 
classic Rebecca Mankoff bags such as this Mini Mac. I adore the um, quilted designs on some of these, um, but if you're looking for something um, a little bit more structured, then I would definitely go for the Mini Mabs. They have a ton of different colors in a variety of different styles, so you are sure to find one that is perfect for you. I'm sure that over the next couple of months and years, um, my collection of Rebecca Mankoff handbags will definitely grow. I'll be sure to do a little update video or post um, when I do get a new handbag. I really think that Rebecca Mankoff handbags are very under Rated. I think they deserve a lot more credit than they do because the materials are great. They are very affordable um, for the quality of bag that you get. Um, so I definitely recommend checking out some of her things on her website. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys in any way. Always, I have a ton of posts on the blog if you guys want to check that out. Also, be sure to follow me on all of my social media. All of those links down below. But I think that is it for me today, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.